Hello and welcome to part 3 of exploitation using ADSI and ADSI searcher by Purple AD. In this video, we will see how to scan an Active Directory environment for SPNs or service principal names using ADSI. Now before we delve into the code, let's first understand what is SPN. So a service principal name is a unique identifier for any service that is running in an AD environment. So for example, if there is a MS SQL server running on a particular server in an AD environment, there would be an associated SPN or service principal name with it. Now the purpose behind using a service principal name is that it ties an AD object with that particular service. So whenever we are referring to a service using SPN in an active directory environment, we are indirectly referring to the object behind it which can be a service account, a user account or a computer account. Now during penetration testing or red teaming exercises, it can be used as an alternative to a port scan in an active directory environment. So if you find that your port scans could be easily detected, you can use SPN scanning as an alternative to identify the ports on which particular services are running. Now some of the common SPNs are listed here. These are CIFS that is Common Internet File System, Host, HTTP, HTTPS. For MongoDB there are SPNs. Then similarly there are SPNs for SMTP, POP, MS SQL Servers, VNC and VPN. If you want a comprehensive list of SPN, you can check out this page on adsecurity.org. On this page you can find a comprehensive list of SPNs that have been identified by Sean Metcalf. So how can we scan for SPN using ADSI? So if you remember from our last video that while using ADSI searcher, we need to specify certain filters. Now similarly, there is a filter for scanning or searching for service principal name and it is very simple to use. As you can see on the screen here that all you need to do is set that filter equal to service principal name equal SPN. Here you need to replace this SPN portion with the service principal name that you want to search for. Now for this video what I have done is I have created a list of all SPNs available on this particular page and put it in a text file. So this will allow us to automate our scanning for various SPNs instead of scanning for a single SPN at a time. So now let's move to the lab and see how we are actually going to scan an active directory environment for SPN. So this is a text file that contains the list of service principal names that were available on the adsecurity.org page and as you can see that there are about 211 SPNs available and then I've created a very simple PowerShell script which uses directory entry class of ADSI and directory searcher class of ADSI to scan for SPN. So let's go through this code line by line. So the first line displays the content of SPN list.txt and stores it in a variable called SPN list. Next we create an object for ADSI directory entry class. After that we create an object for directory searcher class and in this line we are setting the search root as the domain to which this ADSI entry object refers to which is the domain to which this particular windows machine is joined. And then we start a for loop for each of the SPN that is available in this SPN list we set the filter to this SPN value and then we use the find all method of ADSI searcher class to find all objects that match this particular SPN. Next we display the results in this section. So we check if our search has found anything. If it has then we print the SPN for which the result was found and then for each result it prints the SAM account name, service principal name, ADS path and object category. And I've used a bit of formatting so that the results are easy to understand. So now let's run this script and see what do we get. Now I've saved this file as scan-spn.ps1 and now I'm running the script and as you can see that it has found results for two SPNs. So the first is asterisk HTTP asterisk and the second is asterisk SQL asterisk and for this it has found one object and for the SQL one it has found three objects so two of which are of object category person and one is of object category computer. So similarly if you're scanning a much larger active directory environment you will get more results than this and this will make your enumeration part much easier. 
So using this simple script, you can automate SPN scanning for about 211 service principal names. And as you come across more, you can just add them to the text file and the script will scan for them as well. Now this script is available on the GitHub page mentioned in the description below. So if you need to use it, you can download it from there. So that was all I had for this video. Thank you for watching it. Please subscribe to our channel Yaksha CSC for more such videos. You can also follow us on Twitter at Twitter handles at the rate yakshas443.